As you can see, it's time for this week's Pick of the Litter, brought to you by our friends at Best Mattress. Dude, you can't just run off like that. We've got the rest of the, rest of the segment to do. We're joined today by Amy Clutterbuck, the Director of Operations at Hearts Alive Village, and she has bought Jet, a nine-month-old German Shepherd lab mix. Good morning, Amy. How Good are you? Good morning. I'm doing fantastic. Thank this you. This guy, though, is so much fun. Um, Let's let's talk quickly about him and his story, about Jet's story. He's nine months old. He's nine months old. Um, he is clearly going to be a, not a small chap. He's going to be a rather large lad. He's going to be a tall, handsome drink of water for sure. He, um, we, we pulled him out of the shelter um, as just a small, smaller pup. He was in there with uh, the rest of his litter. Um, he's very high energy, loves to swim. He goes to doggy daycare, has lots of friends. He loves everybody. So he's a social chameleon. He loves to get, get in there and play with other dogs. Yes. Like you mentioned, swimming. if someone has a swimming pool there, I mean, I'd love to be adopted with Jet if you have a swimming pool. I'm willing to come <laughs> with him and help out with training. Um, he seems like a super fun guy, very easygoing, and, yes. and he's going to be a great, great companion for someone. Lots of energy, but he is very uh, highly food motivated, so he's, and he's very smart. So Wait, Me and Jet are basically the same person. <laughs> yes. Dude, I'm right there with you. So um, Jet, Jet's available for adoption obviously uh, he's nine months old guys so he's still a pup there's gonna be a little bit of training coming along as well quick update um, you know our audience knows and we've shared with them plenty about the you know the recent issues with so many animals being surrendered to animal care and control and the problems there the overcrowding and, and need for more fosters you guys are experiencing the same thing because the knock-on effect happens to all the rescues here in the valley oh everybody's inundated right now uh, not just the shelters the rescues are too um, large dog fosters like this kid mm -hmm. who do, they don't do well in, in a kennel environment. Right. They need to have play group. They need to have, you know, the ball thrown for them. They need to be stimulated mm -hmm. and then they sleep all night. Right. So a foster home for kids like these is especially imperative. You know, we offer furlough fostering for just the weekend. You cool. can take them for a field trip. And that's a good thing for guys at home to realize. You know, if fostering doesn't is a commitment for potentially like three, five, six months, it can be a weekend. So exactly. if you guys had, had space in your home, for someone like Jet or another dog like Jet, just for the weekend, you guys get to experience having a dog for a weekend, you're helping something out, you're being generous, your heart is full, and these guys get much needed care and attention for a few days. Yeah, his temp foster right now actually reached out to us and said, if you have dogs that need to come swimming, bring them up. So that's awesome. it's perfect. Get some out of the kennel that's and very cool. the energy. So we have, we have a, you know, America's Independence Day coming up, huge celebration, everyone loves it. We all grill, we have fun, we all enjoy the fireworks. However, for a lot of dogs, it's a very stressful weekend with people setting off fireworks around the neighborhood. They don't understand what's going on and it can be intimidating for them. What's some advice you can give for our viewers in terms of dealing with their dogs? Uh, you know, if they find a stray dog, you know, what's the kind of general rule of thumb for everything? So the, the, the main thing to do it during the holiday, especially because the fireworks go, and I don't know any dogs that enjoy them. <laughs> nice job, Jet. Are you full time, bro? Keep We're your, trying to talk about serious stuff, man. Keep your dogs inside. <laughs> keep yeah. your dogs inside. Don't okay. don't leave them with access to the outside because <laughs> they might not jump your fence now, but they will if they get scared. Right. Come on, come on, sit down. Sit so, down. Um, and, and also an important thing to, to make sure is that, you know, yard doors are shut. Uh, make sure your dog is firmly secure on, on a harness or a leash if you have them. Yes. Their tags are visible. If they, if they have a microchip, your microchip is updated, or if they haven't got one, always best to have a microchip if your dog gets out. Call today and make sure that you have yeah. all your your information updated. That's the best way to get your dog back. Right, and this, this time of year as well is especially the, the highlights, the amount of dogs that get out when there are fireworks from the backyard because they get super scared. It's, it's scary and every year we, we just, ugh, it's yeah. hard. Okay, <laughs> back, to, back to this guy because he's important. Um, Available for adoption, obviously. What is your process like? Can people apply online to beat the line? Absolutely. Go to um, our website, heartsalivevillage.org. Uh, click on his picture and put in an interest um, inquiry. Right. And we reach out to you. Right now he's in foster, so we would probably have the foster talk to you about him. And Or you can we can arrange for him to be at a park or at our adoption center. So. And, and the other thing is as well, like we always like to make sure that dogs go into the right home. Yes. So this guy is a big, bigger guy than like a small, you know, lap dog or someone who's going to be a small, easygoing dog. This guy should be going to a family who can give him the energy he needs to burn off. Absolutely. The, you know, the, the stimulation that he needs and all the other things that go with it. So always be mindful when you're looking to adopt a dog. And, and when, you're, when you're getting a puppy, he's nine months old. He's going to be a puppy for probably two more years. Yeah. So he needs training and not just the basic training. He needs to be able to focus on you. He's great on the leash, but he's still he could use guy. a little bit more. He's, he's so much fun. He's amazing. Do you guys have any events coming up? Any, you know, any adoption events as well? Anything going on that you want to promote? You know, every day is an adoption event for it us really with is. our with our adoption center in Henderson. It's at PetSmart at 286 West Lake Mead Parkway. Cool. And we are open every day from 10 to 6 and people come in and find their next true love 
all the time. It's wonderful. Well, guys at home, if you see Jet and you love the look of this guy and mean what's not to love, you need to apply online at heartsalivevillage.org. Uh, also, if you maybe have a friend or a neighbor or a colleague who's looking to adopt a dog and need some money to keep up with their energy, this guy could be perfect. Share the information with him. Uh, so we want to share with you how to get, get Jet for adoption. All you have to do is go to heartsalivevillage.org. And also, don't forget, if you adopt Jet from this feature, you'll receive a complimentary pet bed from our friends at Best Mattress. Dude, I hope you find your...